everybody, and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host, Katie. We're now on episode 14 of Call of Cthulhu, and holy bejesus, Sarah Hawkins is alive. I am so excited to see where this goes. Man, the story is getting good. So, grab a tasty beverage, and let's get started. I didn't want to load my game yet because there was some dialogue that happens as soon as you pick back up uh, in the basement of the Riverside Institute. But this is nuts! So exciting. I hope that we don't have to actually sneak out <laughs> of the Institute and hide in wardrobes, but uh, despite the fact that Sarah Hawkins is as nutty as a bed bug, I'm hoping that she can enlighten us to some of what the heck's been going on here. Clearly, uh, Charles, her husband, was a cultist, uh, but why he has been turned into like a half tentacle monster, I'm not sure. Uh, Sarah most likely found out that uh, he was part of a cult and was trying to get her and her son out, uh, but clearly failed with that one. We do know that her painting of the Shambler is what drove, uh, what's his face? And you know, I'm blanking on his name right now. Uh, the art curator drove him insane. Francis Sanders, that's it. Uh, drove him insane and actually summoned the Shambler into our dimension and now he seems to have seems to have opened a doorway and now the shambler is kind of stalking me uh i myself eddie am going increasingly insane uh i am no longer stable on my insanity meter so we're gonna see <laughs> how much more crazy we get <laughs> as the game progresses but yeah i think that's that's where we are right now uh i don't know what's gonna happen after we get out of the institute uh, Colden is dead, Marie Colden, at least we think so, or her reanimated, cor reanimated corpse is what attacked the doctor, or attacked us when we were trying to kill the doctor, but let's see what happens, guys. It was in your studio. What? The first you time I want to explore. Me. That's where you saw me. Yes, this is where we ended, last episode, and she remembers painting us, although we had never actually met in person. You mean the guards? Uh, well, w I don't want to miss anything. Sarah, you're moving too fast. You are moving too fast. And, yep, got to refresh my memory on the controls because I was out of town for almost a week for Thanksgiving. And I could follow her, or I could explore. Which I think I will do right now. Uh, nope, that is not a grate I can open. And I can't open that door, so... What a cheerful area this is. I just love the decor. The blood spatters on the wall. They're done really well. Okay, Miss Straight Jacket. Why are you just sitting there? What the? Oh no. Whoops. Oh, frack. What am I supposed to do? Am I running? Am I doing this? Wait. Hi. <laughs> that was odd. I wasn't. Okay. Well, sorry about that. I guess we got to do this again. Studio. <laughs> Get out of my what? way. You painted me. That's where. And you I saw can't it. run right now. That's interesting. Of course. His little walk jog that he does when you hold the trigger button is Man, not working. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Follow you. I'm here. Are you going to do something, or are you just going to peek out? So by follow me, you mean... What the... Oh no. What are you doing here? Did that just do it again? Where did she go? She escapes, and I'm screwed. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Capture me. Oh, stealth sections, how much I loathe you. Just complete... And Utter intense loathing. It was in your studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You painted me. That's where you saw. So me. she says, of "Follow course. me," and she just stays there. And any time I even just peek my head around, uh, I immediately stand up and run into the middle of the room. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Well, okay. And by pressing ourselves against the wall, we're screwed. Good plan, Sarah. 
Let's trust the nutty person. Well, what are you going to do? I clearly can't peek around because I get caught. Do something, wench. Oh my gosh, you guys. There were some complaints that the stealth section was not the best. So, look, I peeked too far. All right, shit, son, run this way. Just you wait. And if I'm missing a book, I don't give a shit, cause they're gonna capture me. Did I do it? Okay. Oh, good. A door bar. What an odd thing to have Wait. in your asylum, but okay. The machine. It's the green, the decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living beings. So let's we kill don't everybody. We have time for that. I oh, we do, Eddie. Until the wrong is set right. Damn it. I mean, Sarah wants her revenge, and I don't blame her, because they clearly tortured her. So if she wants to gas everybody in this institution, I'm okay with this. Oh, I gotta switch with this. Yay, look! Coal? Is this, yep, that is coal. Um, and something odd there. Okay, well... How to kill everybody. 101. I need like a how to poison everyone for dummies book. If you are not strong enough, I'm going to be irritated because that I'd is... I'd be better off finding a tool. Every time. Every time. That is such a trope in this game. What about this? This looks like a tool. Perfect. A poker. Poker. I barely know her. Good job, Eddie. Hmm, perhaps we should have thought right. this through. That should do it. Let's move. We're gonna be poisoning ourselves now. <laughs> oh good! A friend! Oh, <gasps> it's Charles. I'm your puppet no more. You bastard! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you're so slimy. Wife, my wife, you owe me obedience. Marriage in that day and age was fun. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Oh dear. You are going <gasps> nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. Oh! Tentacles to the face. Eddie, get up. Come on. We have to save Sarah. That, yeah, stab him. Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. Bonk. How dare you? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, when half your face melts and you grow tentacles, clearly you also develop superhuman strength. The shit? Am I dead? No. Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? Uh, I like how this one isn't timed. For her safety, was throwing her in this rat hole. I hid her well enough. Yeah, I really don't believe you were keeping her safe, Charlie. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her, but her identity, her power, is what threatens her. Mm -hmm. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't oh, we can even imagine. begin we to can. imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Actually, I would probably rethink that. Weak, physically, and mentally. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. Yeah, she doesn't strike me as feeble, just, uh, bonkers. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth 
For too long. Even if she were to leave Dark Water, she would still hear his call. And the Count will always be here, waiting for her. Well then, why don't you just let me go and I'll leave? If we get rid of it, members. You are out of your league, Detective. What side they is Charles the on? Whole island. Is she he an unwilling cultist? Surrender to his power. And the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. Oh. Did I choose wrong? Or not. Good job, Sarah. But now we don't get any answers. Ooh, that's lovely. Mmm, juicy. I just want to hold your hand, Sarah. Take my tentacles. with the axe buddy but at the same time like I like the double tap <laughs> he ain't getting up he's not gonna be in Call of Cthulhu 2 so was Charles kind of on the side of good he locked Sarah up as a way of protecting uh, the world because if she were free to join the cult and do her culty things, then uh, then Cthulhu would definitely be awakened. I'm not sure. But I think that was chapter 8, and now we're on chapter 9. So, after the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, <laughs> among other things, Advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins, alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation be between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Well, unfortunately, she doesn't communicate well, but if she could tell us what she wants, we could decide whether or not to just, you know, like, kill her and leave or no take her with us. should have to bury their child. Knowing that it's me that put him there. The guilt. Guilt. Okay, and here she is speaking in, like, normal sentences now all of a sudden. Interesting. I feel your pain. do anything to get him back anything mm. let's My not revive the dead me here in the first place he began showing me things things I never should have painted things Charles should never have seen What am I to you? <clears throat> I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Still scum, though. Even if he was trying to protect her in some way, he's You're still an asshole. Going anywhere. <laughs> Good job, Sarah. Ah! 
Shit's on fire, yo. I took on myself. Okay, so they were both unconscious. Ah, the groundskeeper is saving Sarah. Oh dear. But he didn't see Simon, and Simon did burn to death. That's awful. Simon. Come on. It's over now. Or is it? <laughs> He's waking up, everybody. Oh, Algernon. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna... I think we are headed towards the final showdown soon. Uh, but let's distribute these points. Uh, let's see. We have four character points available. Uh, that's six. Oh, we were... Alright, so we've leveled up Psychology, and let's go ahead and level up, uh, Spot Hidden. And I remembered to do that, you guys. Uh, what's going on? We are psychotic! Boy, that tanked fast. <laughs> there is a secret, a forgotten secret, so old and terrifying which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of lost tomes or whispered during forgotten and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence. You know the cruel and awful truth, and you have seen the frightening face of reality. That's great. Ah, trapped in madness. Is the death of Colden a hallucination, or is it the sole flash of truth in the slow descent into madness that Edward Pierce's mind is undergoing? The detective gained entry to the Riverside Institute in order to help the doctor. Immediately attacked by the Shambler, he fled through a transmuted hospital whose architecture respected no physical laws. His wanderings led him to an operating room, where his confrontation with Fuller came to an end when Colden's corpse rose up to attack Pierce. The detective thinks that he's got a grip on himself, but he now knows that death and madness lie in his path. His sanity was severely affected by this new ordeal. Yeah, no kidding. I was just, like, shaken or something before, and now I'm suddenly psychotic. Charles Hawkins. Pierce and Sarah Hawkins confronted the monster that Charles Hawkins had turned into. The man retained nothing human. Tentacles replaced one of his arms. His face bore the signs of an unfinished mutation, and he was endowed with superhuman strength. He was on the point of strangling Pierce when Sarah Hawkins drove a poker into his throat. Pierce finished him off with an axe. This fight to the death left Pierce physically and mentally scarred. The cost of truth. While Pierce's sanity is growing dangerously weaker, his increased sensitivity to the occult opens new ways for him. On rare occasions, he is now able to unearth hidden truths when he speaks to the inhabitants of the island. As with everything connected with the myth, using it comes at a cost. Well, good. You know what? If I have to be insane, at least I'm going to get some answers. Uh, Alright, let's read this little blurb. Deceased Marie Colden. I arrived too late to free Colden from the clutches of Fuller. Just before I found her body in the hands of the doctor, she had come to see uh, she had come to see me to give me a last message. Sorry, awkward sentence. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I believe that her words were full of truth. And now we have Sarah Hawkins, age 33, occupation, a painter. I found Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of the Riverside Institute. Charles Hawkins and Dr. Fuller seem to have connived to hide her from the world. She seems to be very affected by the tragedies that have struck her family, but I detect a fighting spirit in this woman that I would better not underestimate. She's a survivor. Oops, Katie forgot to mute her phone. Bad Katie. And we still have the poker. So sometimes, when we use a lever to open a valve, we lose it, and sometimes we keep it. This makes no sense, but whatever. And these are just things that we don't need to read, but I want to get rid of the exclamation points. Well, cool. And now I can run. 
And I know we checked out everything in the house, but I just want to make sure that with my higher psychology, occult, and medicine skills that nothing random just pops up. But, naughty me, I am going to mute my phone so that y'all don't have to listen. There we go. To it going off again. And... Bradley? How are you, Bradley? Ah! I was dead, but I'm okay now. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Oh, poor dude. Have you had any news? I do have some news. Uh... Let's tell the I'm truth, because so then might, he might fight I, harder I for us. nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars. Let's guarantee that if we lie, it's going to come you, back to bite us in the booty. You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? I didn't kill her. I hadn't tried to help you. She might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. I didn't want to see her dead either. Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. See, now what that is say, where kids? you should direct your anger. Are you with me? Yep, let's kill him. Uh, would not have wanted... Who cares what she wanted? She's dead now. We could just speak to him in MIT, but let's not do that, because I'm sure that's going to drive us more in insane. Uh, his grief clouds his judgment. No, come on. Fuller let's kill Fuller. Too many atrocities. He I am all for killing the doc. On Sarah, on me, and now he has killed Dr. Colden. He must die. Agreed. He will suffer the fate he deserves, I promise you. But we must keep calm. He's not alone. We must identify his accomplices in order to put an end to their schemes. If you say so. But I'm only interested in Fuller. We must Fuller. do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through. Otherwise, Marie's death will have been in vain. I mean, I'm You're persuaded. Right. That was really good, Eddie. The voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Psychotic reason. I can talk I to you again. I prefer to be alone. Oh, okay, well. I would prefer not to have nightmares and to have my sanity back and to have never come to this godforsaken island. But we can't have everything, can we? Hopped up the library books. Alright, so hopefully... Mr. Pierce. We were waiting We can learn about you. that dagger now that Good. saved us. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? Before she cracks? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? I told supervision? him to meet us here. Come on, Eddie. This you is too that? dangerous for a bookworm like you. He is a bookworm with a gun, though. I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. I like your outfit. You're mismatched. Just, I dig it. I could talk to her, or I could follow him and see if he talks to me. Creep. Hey, where are you going? Hey. Hi. Okay. He's not amused. It's like nobody has a sense of humor anymore. It's like the world's about to end and we're all going insane. Silly people. What is these? Oh, drinking. That sounds like a terrible idea right now. I mean, usually I'm all for having a nip or two, but that, I just feel like, as a psychotic man, I should probably keep my alcohol consumption to a minimum now. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we should talk to her, because I doubt he's going to do anything anytime soon. Algernon, that is. Alright, Sarah. Lay it on me. What's going on? You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. Okay. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. I mean, Charles was pretty clear that uh, if she left, she would still hear the call. Uh, let's let's go with psychology. You Why feel do you guilty. think you're responsible for everything that has happened? Because I am. I am the one who read the forbidden book. Oh, well, book. in that case. 
I am the one who painted the creature. I she read the Necronomicon first. And kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you. Now you're no just acting like Charles. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. She is facing I them. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of I the mistakes you've made. Don't think that's what she's made. doing. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. So we're talking about the Shambler right now. She wants to kill it. Uh... Oh, it's probably a terrible idea for me to do it, but for once I want to pick the, the gibberish. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. Uh, Listen, how irritating. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Maybe the dagger I have. New objective. Consult diary. Let's see. So now we go find Algernon. I hope I didn't just uh, mess up anything by picking the cultish language. Uh, so it says there's something new, but there isn't. So you're a dirty, stinking liar game. All right, let's go talk to Algernon and see if he can analyze the dagger that saved our life. And maybe he can say, hey, there's an easy way of killing the Shambler. And guess what, Katie? You don't have to do it. We're going to have somebody else do it. <laughs> so don't worry about it. You will never have to confront it again. But I don't think I'm going to be so lucky, am I? Ooh, a law office. Oh, right. There you are. To make sure I didn't miss anything. Who wants to go back down to the culty cavern? Not me. Oh, there's an oil thingy, Majig. Nope, that is ink for a pen. Ha. A book. Wait that ticket? What is this? For some reason I don't feel like I explored everything in here when I came in here. Because it auto-proceeded when I opened up the bookshelf. But I see nothing new, so Seeing you again. Hey brother. Ah. It's you. I'm here for her. Not you. That's been established. I don't Thanks. care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Yes. Could? We found that. We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Okay, Mr. Snobby Snob. Uh... Uh, he sold the dagger to dagger Sanders. with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the, the dagger, dagger of the, of the ancients, ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. Yeah, we kind of figured that out when he was chasing back. me in the hospital. Yes, that is why I am looking for a more permanent solution. It must okay. never come back. Have you considered a gun? Because I just this think that might be useful. The Shambler. What is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How and could we a almost were like too. Well, we were many times Mrs. until Hawkins I finally cleared that area. Sarah has an uncommon gift. 
a connection with entities that live beyond our reality. <laughs> Gift I doubt or that curse. she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. Good and now job, it Sarah. In our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. I am not going to enjoy that part. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Hrie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. Unbeliever. It is a very Shen. powerful protection. Shen an unbeliever. Able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. Disagree. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. We've a seen it before. In Either in person or in the I've book. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief, Charles, has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Huh. Okay. So, we need to go on a scavenger hunt to find the, the protective amulet, and at some point we're going to have a showdown with the Shambler, which I don't want to do, but that concludes episode 14, and basically, I guess I'll be running around the house looking for this bust to help find the amulet. Uh, kind of handy that he just keeps holding it, uh, but it auto-saves, so... We are going to call this episode quits. Uh, please comment on the video, like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and follow me on Twitter at TYT Gaming, capital K, capital C. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, cheers, guys. Have a great week. Here's my camera. There's my camera. Hi.